Uh, what, a, what a day it's been. Ten point rides uh, that last hit, obviously, just packed with goofy footers. Some incredible stuff from uh, all three, G Gabriel Medina, Owen Wright and Juan Daru, but uh, out in the water at the moment. Another fantastic heat. Two world champions up against the rookie, Frederica Marias, Big Fanning and John John Florence. And the waves are pumping. So many great storylines. Frederica Marias joins uh, Juan Daru as the last two rookies standing. Here in the event at Jeffreys Bay, Freddie got started during the break. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, it is just non-stop waves. You've seen some of the biggest sets of the day come through in that last heat, so uh, it is no sign of slowing down. Frederica Marais loves this kind of condition, set it's just like home as uh, we see him flying down the line. He's got his work cut out, but I'll tell you what, this kid doesn't mind coming up against the big names, especially in these conditions. He's a big boy and he handles it well, just like that. Beautiful searing maneuver from Frederica Marias and backs it up again. Just a series of beautiful turns, combination of major maneuvers, speed management, and then drives through the inside, a little bit of a head dip there. But uh, finishing off nicely is the young fella from Portugal. What a wave to start the heat and many more to come. He had to start off that way with the caliber of athletes in this lineup. Reigning world champ, John John Florence also with a start. Yeah, John John, first wave of the set. A little bit smaller than Frederico's, a little bit more wind involved. That wind has picked up, but I tell you what, it's brought the swell in, that's for sure. John John, on the back of a couple of incredible heats, he served twice so far in this event. He's got four, five nine-point rides to his name. Can he get more? Let's have a look. Beautiful slash on the inside. Just that casual approach from John, just waiting for the wave to stand up, and then he just capitalizes with some big turns. So. I'm going to have to say advantage Marias on that exchange. Saw so maybe some of the biggest waves in the last heat roll through in the all goofy foot matchup. The Medina one will continue with Fanning. Fanning his title here. Jay Bay still looking solid. First turn, big sweep off the roof. Now setting up this inside track. Clean bottom turn, just a subtle fade to set up this section. He did something big here, Fanning just guiding that top turn into a heavy section to pull in on and sneaks the exit. Smart move just to get the vision real quick and the completion. And now all three surfers on the board. Six, let's have another look. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's exactly how you want to start. You talk about uh, how he's feeling right at home. I'll tell you what, he's looking absolutely fantastic. Just nice, cool, calm approach. And you know, that this is the thing with Jeffrey's Bay. Take your time, get into the groove, find, your, find that rhythm. And once you do, you, you sort of just seem to, I don't know, unload those big turns. And Marias is capitalizing. Look at this right here, just holding that rail, extending that body, beautiful surfing from Frederica Marias. And again, just mixing it up. Combination of major turns here from the young man from Portugal, flying the flag, making his country very, very proud, that's for sure. Marias milking this one all the way down through the inside. And as you said, Joe, 9.60. Two judges through 9.8s and three judges through 9.5s. You take the high and the low, and there you have your score. And if you're out of rotation, stay out there for that next set to arrive and find a good one. More waves on the way, pots with priorities. The world champ, John John Florence, deep bottom turn, way back hack. Right in front of the oncoming section. Now just stretching it out, waiting for a second maneuver, a big down carve wrap with the extension. He's got some room to slowly emerge out in front, he'll lay low. He wants this thing to just open wide up, standing tall in the pit, Florence has some room to move. <laughs> now finishing with a big layback dagger in the closeout session. Using his priority, Bit of a crumbly start, nice opening maneuver. Pumping down the line, waiting for it to stand up. Just fading, taking his time. Now watch this turn here, ladies and gentlemen. Carves it and then carves it again. Now I thought, okay, hang on a sec, what's he done? He's maybe faded a little bit too much. Coming around the section and what has it done? It just put him in the absolute perfect position right there. I mean, are you kidding me? As he comes flying out at the end of this one and then does this, just for good measure. Well. Ronnie Blakey threw 10 fingers up, and guess what, Ronnie? It is a perfect 10. 10-point 10 ride, the fourth on the day. Florence, all casual, in the pit, had plenty of room to move, and came out and had more for us 
a big layback hack just to seal oh, the deal. Oh my goodness. That, that was probably one of the best surfed waves I've seen today as far as positioning, as far as timing, as far as just reading the wave to a point where this maneuver here, uh, carving into a carve and putting himself so far behind the white water, incredible stuff from John John Florence. He just understood where he was in this wave, knows where the double up is, well overhead, always casual. One of the best barrel riders in the world, doesn't matter if it's at Pipe or Chopu or at Jeffrey's Bay. Yep. Out in front and now all the way to the lead. Well, Sean hasn't quite got his wish yet. He's, <laughs> he's looking for carves to get a 10. That was a good sized barrel <laughs> plus the carve, Sean. You kind of take things lightly. Next thing you know, you're in that, you know, do or die around and you're out of here. So, um, I, you know, John's super focused. Um, the waves are pumping now. It's, it's pretty radical out there. And it looks like he's on a wave right now. Do you want to talk us through this one? Well, that was by far the best surfing I've seen from Frederico. That 9.6 uh, was incredible. Um, all three or four of those turns were, were really crazy. So I'm impressed with him. This heat's far from over. Definitely. Well, back to you guys. It looks like it's action packed. Thank you, Rosie and Ross Williams. Mariah's still through the end section of his ride as he's hoping that thing is going to wrap him up like it does. Frederico looking for the exit way down the line. He'll punch free. <laughs> Wow. Right into Fanning as it's his turn to fire up and break the combo. Looks back. Puts up the number seven. Yeah, he said that was a seven. So he's asking for a seven-point <laughs> ride. I've never seen that before. Let's see what happened on the start of Frederico's win. All right, Frederico Marais, what's he looking for? He's looking for a 7.58, but really he needs another nine. At least another nine if he's going to take this heat out because John is on a heater. Mick is not far behind, that's for sure. Marias up into the lip again, beautiful turn. I love the smooth transition between his maneuvers, Joe. There's no messing around, there's no little glitches. Nice, clean, mistake-free surfing. That's what's going to take to win this heat. Laying the board on the rail again, a beautiful turn right there. The Condor would be proud of that one. As he comes off the bottom again, waiting for the barrel. Now he slides in, driving through the section. Is he going to come out? Not a clean exit, but fights his way through there. And Marias is going to drop another good score. How far up? Who knows? Let's have a look at Mick 7. <laughs> well, he's claiming it's a 7, so let's have a look at it. Beautiful searing maneuver from Mick. Changed up his equipment, Joe. Got the inside info. It's a, it's a channel bottom on the advice of Fletchy. Let's see if it pays off. Beautiful turn there from Mick. He draws off the bottom again. Another searing maneuver. What a heat we've got on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Are you not entertained? And as we click to another camera angle, Mick Fanning just absolutely slashes that one and <laughs> says, yep, that's a seven. I liked it a little better than a seven. I mean, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think maybe he's underselling himself, Joe. He's I think that's going to be himself. maybe up in the eight-point range. Now, is that going to influence the panel? Claims with the number that he's asked for. What if the judges already jotted something down and went, whoops, uh, Mick wants a seven. Let's give him a seven. <laughs> Remember, John, still world number two, just with a 250-point difference under Matt Wilkinson. Here comes Florence, using priority, looking for the score. Casual wrap. Keeps that higher line approach on the second cutty. Now getting down to the bottom. Speed jam off the lip. Now starting to heat up, looking for something big down the line. Pulls him behind the section, and he punches free. Away. Even though that barrel was challenging, yeah, you're thinking he needs so much more. But Using his priority on this occasion, 8 minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Setting it up, waiting for it. He's feeling it, he needs a big score, he needs a 9.07. Quick lightning fast turn and then pull straight up into it, backdoors the section here. Up and over the foam ball and somehow fights his way through, so... Not going to be enough for John. Back to the drawing board, back to the uh, end of the rotation. Well, working closely with Richard Dog Marsh, a guy that was on tours. They've got the lead over Mick at the moment, but he's up fresh off a 9.73. Drives into the lift. There's a big layback, quick in transition. Harold's not going to let him in. Fades it, and he's still left searching for more. 
Yeah, good move right there. It kind of went a bit fat through that inside section. You need that wave to stand up to get those big scores. Ever, like, just maybe it's, it's kind of, oh, Frederick is the bomber again. I think just maybe at the same level as uh, Mick, John John and Kelly uh, uh, at Pipe a few, few years ago. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm frothing. John John. Well, I think the surprise is this man that's up and riding right now, Frederick, the rookie, he's actually leading the seat. Are you surprised by that with such experienced surfers? No, I'm not surprised at all because uh, that's how, that's pretty much where uh, Freddie's grow up and he really knows how to surf those, like, those waves. So, yeah, it's kind of, no, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. I, I, I'm not really able to surf because I'm really like, excited to watch the surf. But, yeah, awesome. Can't even tear his eyes off the lineup, guys. <laughs> this heat has been amazing. And, And now with 50 seconds, Mick's going to make a move on this wave. First turn under the lip, a challenging one. He hangs on. Sets up that arc. Needs to be perfect. Needs a 9-3-4. Now starting to stall a bit to hug the pocket of the wave. Goes for another big top turn wrap. Another one that's going to hold him up high. You can tell Mick was hoping that thing was going to funnel and let him pull in. Not this time, and we're into the countdown. Oh, what a heat that was, Frederica Marias. But mix up before the buzzer, Joe. This will be the last wave scored. Can he pull off a miracle? <laughs> He's already <laughs> just having a ball. Fanning and Florence will be dealing with round five as this one continues. And a rookie named Frederico Marias, his name is just inflated even more as he's straight to the quarterfinals. Wow. Amazing stuff right there from, uh, from all three surfers. I mean, that, that's what we want to see.